All right, Topaz, talk to me. How does it feel to be in business with Aventurine? <laughs> I bet you're not used to it. No, not exactly. So it's a, uh, it's a welcoming feeling. I'm say, because Aventurine seems like a, a cool guy, right? That's just his style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. Yeah. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. <laughs> That's true. But Venturine's luck has always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch and basically never lost a gamble. Which is why, on the issue of retaking Panacone, I'm watching with keen interest. Yeah, I'm sure you do. It works only when all parties' interests are aligned. <laughs> of course. It's business, after all. What's important is where you're seated at the table. Yep. As for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. As I've been doing so far, right? <laughs> Alright, let's uh, see what the Bloodhound family has to say. Or oh, these Bloodhound family members, right? Tell us, let's We're say. carrying out our captain's orders. What, what do you want? Um, I should ask you the same thing. What do you want? Why are you here? We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. Mm, are you sure? So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. Yeah, okay, so that's them. We meet again. <laughs> 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 you again. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. Oh, yeah? Well, spit it out. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. So you know each other. Yep. Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? I mean, I haven't beaten them up, right? Uh... I've got business with your captain, where is he? That's right. We're investigating a murder for the family. Can we speak to your captain about the case? Oh, uh, well... Yeah, uh, their captain is uh, Gallagher, right? I think. Hey! The security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before he returned from Dream's Edge. So you went to Dream's Edge. All right. What murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Okay, sure. Have you been living under a rock this whole time? Yeah, they have, they have, that's right. We have nothing to report. Please leave. Leave? Looks like they're not going to cooperate. But they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. <laughs> yes. Where you shop, right? <laughs> Why don't we just look for the security officer then? It's probably Gallagher. Yeah, right. The one he mentioned, right? Mm -hmm. Sure is. The dream's Edge. Well, let's go have a look then. Um, head to the Dream's Edge to find Gallagher. Sure. Let me get right on that. Where is he? Where? Uh, no. He's over that way. Let's go say hello. Right? Tight security. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Tight security. Gallagher. Gallagher. Where could he be? Yeah, where could he dream be? Dream is effortless. But to create dreams. Constructing is dreams is something sacred. Reflective. Dreams are supposed oh, yeah. to be confused. I finished. All of the origami birds, uh, you say retrieval <laughs> in each places. 
apart from uh, the Dulite Pavilion. Apart from Dulite Pavilion, so still like working on that. This is a Bloodhound family member, I just trust. Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. I understand. But... Hold on a minute. I think I've seen you before. The, the gray-haired one. Yeah, aren't you... Aren't you the one that let us go through, you know, when I was with Firefly? How? trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penacony? Hey, don't look at me. I haven't done anything. Anything. Uh, that right, it's a me, Plotty. Uh, you think you look alike? I mean, uh, how about a clockwork trick? Wait, are you for real? Yes, I am. Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while... Beating me up with that silver-haired girl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. I mean, it's, it, it makes it seem like I'm some sort of bad guy, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not. I'm just. Uh, true. I mean, just doing some plot work, right? Friendships and all that. Uh. Yeah. I mean, it's not my fault. I'm not letting you get by this time. <laughs> Please leave. <laughs> Or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. I mean, um, does it does it change anything? Huh? What kind of heinous <laughs> crime have you committed now? Sir, I have nothing to say, sir. I, uh, I, I I'm not wrong with my deeds. Uh. <laughs> Hold on, sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. Yeah. Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us? That's all I can divulge. Uh, he'll do! He's the one we've been looking for! <sighs> Sorry. No can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Uh, Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? <laughs> am I... am I that bad of a guy? Seriously? What did I do to, to make him seem like a scary cat? We're really sorry for troubling you. <sighs> Let's think of another way. Yes, sir. Uh, another way. Uh, that's it. Did oh. they say something about that? Uh, what was it? Clockwork? Clockwork? Yeah. That got this guy to change his mind. Can you perform it again? That. The clocky uh, magic. The clocky magic. <laughs> I mean. Uh... <laughs> I can't abuse it for evil doings. I mean, just what I've been waiting for, seriously. I mean, uh, yeah, it's largely magic, obviously, so of course I'm going to use it. Alright, let's do this. Clarty magic. Let's go. Sorry. No can do. The boss said that since yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. matter of the I, I, I understand. everyone, please leave. Uh, it's okay. I understand. I understand. You and this uh, Bloodhound family member have met before, and you know he's very upright, that he is. But you're also aware that principles sometimes don't matter when a person is in a good mood. Oh, you want me to change it to happy, right? He was calm last time, so happy. Alright, let's see. Let me see what time it is now. Hmm. Whoa! It's this time already! What? Uh, what time? Time to clock out! And no one's gonna stop me. I mean, the highly principled member of the Bloodhound family laughed heartily and let the scene. Uh, what? 
Yeah, pretty shocking, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, it's it was it was the first time for me. Some I mean a while ago, so I can understand your reactions. <laughs> uh, this clockwork trick of yours, it's kind of dangerous. Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> I mean, I've been using it for quite a while now. Plotty, you're amazing, my friend. At least he won't be getting in our way again. Hey. Let's go find that Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case. Sure. Sure, let's see what uh, he has to what offer. Oh, was. Okay, well. Huh. Oh, it's you guys. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? Oh, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Judging from your tone, it sounds like you were expecting us. He was, it seems. <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Hmm. What do you mean there's no need to call me sir? Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. That's true. I haven't realized that. He knows Simiko's name. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. Yeah, well, yeah I mean, that's true. Yeah. I had an encounter with this gentleman in the Golden Hour. Mm, I remember that little silver-haired girl was there, too. That's true as well. It's nice that you have a so much of a memory, Gallagher. Where have you been keeping it this whole time? I could have used someone like you in my party. Anyways, um... <laughs> oh yeah, that's a bit unfortunate to say the least. I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. We all are. <sighs> We're sorry too. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it. In the hopes of getting justice for her. Yep. The Nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Yep. Fate. What a way to segue into things. Why? What's wrong with the family? What's wrong with the family, you say? Hmm. Uh, it's nothing. On Penicone, everyone loves the family. The way he said it's nothing? Yeah. Okay. No matter sure. how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Inebriated fools? Little kids? And just idiots. Hmm. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. Yep, he sure is. But you got it wrong. I'm not. Yeah, you can say that all you want, but we know the truth. You want to discuss the case? Sure, come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. Alright. At this moment, on the other side. <laughs>